Hello, this is Bhavik Desai from the Nutanix Tech Marketing Team. And in this video, I'll show you how easy it is to provision storage on a Nutanix cluster running ESXi. Let's get started. Creating a new data store on a Nutanix cluster is very easy. To do that, we go to the Prism element. From here, we go to the storage view. In a Nutanix cluster, storage related things are logically managed at a container level. Things like replication factor and data reduction capabilities like compression, deduplication and erasure coding are set at the container level. This allows different applications to be created with their own logical containers depending on the requirements. Let's go ahead and create a storage container. Let's give it a name. Next, let's look at some of the advanced settings that can be set on a container. Replication factor is set to 2 since this is a 4 node cluster. You can set reserve capacity and data reduction features like compression, deduplication and erasure coding can be set as required. Align compression is turned on by default on all new storage containers. Last step is to mount the container as a NFS data store on ESXi host. You can pick individual host to mount the data store to or keep the default of mounting on all the host. That will create a new data store on ESXi. Let's take a look at vCenter which now has the data store visible there. The data store can now be managed as you would manage any other data store in ESXi. In addition, Prism can be used to manage and modify the container too. It can be updated to modify settings if required. Prism provides all the relevant information to the container like data reduction ratio and saving scene, its usage and performance stats. As you saw with Prism, it is very simple and easy to create and manage ESXi data stores on Nutanix clusters.